Hey guys, it's Ani here, and today we've got a quick hardware comparison between the Lumia 720 in the beautiful cyan blue and the Lumia 920 in the fire red. Now these are both running Windows Phone 8, they're both amazing devices, and they're both just totally awesome, and I love them both. But here's a quick rundown of the differences between them. So first of all, the major difference is the screen size. The Lumia 920 has a noticeably large, well not actually noticeably, seeing that they're almost the same size, a larger screen at 4.5 inches versus 4.3 of the Lumia 720. The 4.5 inch screen on the Lumia 920 is a 768p screen with a PPI of around 330, while the Lumia 720 is a 480p screen with a PPI of 218, 217, something like that. Now I know 480p sounds a bit low, but trust me, the Lumia 720 screen is amazing. I'm going to be filming some screen comparisons later, so be sure to check those out. They both have IPS LCD screens, and they're both pretty cool. So. That's in terms of screens. What else do you have? You have your Windows Phone 8 normal layout buttons and you have your front-facing camera. Now interestingly, both the Lumia 920 and the 720 share the same front-facing camera, a 1.3 megapixel capable of recording at 720p. So that means you have your Lumia 720 recording at 720p at the front, equal to the flagship device at less than half the price. So what else do you have? Both devices are running Windows Phone 8, as mentioned, and they both have the Snapdragon S4 processor. The Lumia 920 has 1 gigabyte of RAM, while the Lumia 720 has 512 megabytes, which is probably the only slight issue that I could have with the device, is just the limited RAM in it. It's not very noticeable, but you know we'll get to that later in another video. They both have the same exact battery, which is a 2000 milliamp battery that can get you a long way on the Lumia 720 considering the smaller size, less demand, less processing power, so it's it's much better battery life that you're getting out of it. In terms of internal storage, you have 32 gigabytes of non-expandable storage on the Lumia 920, while you have 8 gigabytes of onboard storage, plus a micro SD card slot right there, if I could just get into focus. And it's not focusing, but there's a micro SD slot right there and it can pop out, you can put in a micro SD card, whatever, and you have no issues expanding this, the memory on the Lumia 720. So, memory is not a major factor. If we flip over the devices and head over to the camera section, you have your 8.7 megapixel pure view camera on the Lumia 920 with its OIS and low light imagery. Uh, magic. Which takes amazing low light vid uh, pictures, stable videos, the whole shebang. On the Lumia 720, you have a 6.7 megapixel camera that captures videos in 720p instead of 1080 like the 920, but it does take some amazing low light pictures as well due to an f1.9 aperture lens, so that's really, really cool. Now, so, in terms of what's packed in the devices, they both have NFC, the 920 has wireless charging built in, while the 720 has wireless charging added through the little three pins on the back. You can get a wireless charging cover, slap it on, and it instantly charges wirelessly. So, let's take a look at the two devices side by side from different angles and see how they pair up. So, as you can see, the 720 is noticeably thinner than the 920 in terms of actual dimensions, and that's due to it being a smaller phone with a lesser weight. It actually weighs only 128 grams. Actually, yes, 100, uh, one second, guys. It's actually 100... 28 grams versus 185 or 185 grams of the Lumia 920. So that's a big difference, almost 60 grams right there. And you can tell that there's a size difference noticeably. They both have the same button layout on the side, which is the volume rocker, the lock screen, and the camera sensor. On the top, you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the 920, as well as on the 720, and you have your SIM doors on both of them right there and right there, opposite to each other. As we mentioned, the 720 has a micro SD slot on the left hand side which operates like the SIM door, and from the bottom you have your micro USB ports and your speaker on the 920. The speaker of the 720 is actually on the back of the device, and this won't focus for some reason. That's the speaker on the 720, the speaker on the 920 is right there alongside the micro USB port. And that's the micro USB port on the 720. So that's pretty much it for a hardware comparison. I mean, as you can tell, they both have beautiful designs. I actually prefer the design of the 720 since it just fits in the palm of your hand a lot nicer. And I also forgot to mention that they both have curved screens. It's probably difficult to see on video, but it's a very nice curve that just allows your finger to smooth 
slide smoothly over the screen. It's very nicely built. So these are both 720 and the 920. Hope you found this video helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments down below which you prefer, which design you like, which color you like. Anything you have to share about these, you know, feel free to shout down below. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys later. Thanks.